The Magician's Nephew, the sixth book of the Chronicles of Narnia series by C.S. Lewis, serves as a prequel to the entire series, providing a backstory to the magical land of Narnia, its creation, and how evil first entered it. The story is centered around two children, Digory Kirk and Polly Plummer, who live in London during the late 19th century. The adventure begins when Digory's uncle Andrew, an amateur and unethical magician, tricks Polly into touching a yellow magic ring. This ring transports her to the wood between the worlds, a tranquil forest filled with pools that serve as gateways to other worlds. Digory follows Polly by touching a yellow ring himself, and they start exploring these worlds together. Their first stop is a desolate world called Charn, where they find a bell with an inscription warning of the danger it poses. In a moment of curiosity, Digori rings the bell, inadvertently awakening the evil Queen Jadis. Jadis reveals that she had destroyed Charn using a powerful deplorable word after a ruinous civil war left her as the last living person. She clings to the children as they use the rings to escape, taking them to the wood between the worlds, and then inadvertently to Earth. Jadis creates chaos in London with her superhuman strength and magical powers. Uncle Andrew, being enchanted by her, sees her as an opportunity to gain power and wealth. However, with the help of Polly, Digori, and a cab driver named Frank, they manage to transport Jadis away from Earth. They all, along with Frank's horse Strawberry, end up in a completely dark and empty world. They witness the creation of Narnia, sung into existence by Aslan, a majestic and benevolent lion. Aslan creates animals, plants, and other creatures by his song, infusing the world with magic and life. He selects certain animals to be talking beasts, giving them the power of speech and intelligence. Frank the cabman and his horse are also present. Aslan transforms Strawberry into a winged horse named Fledge and makes Frank and his wife Helen the first king and queen of Narnia. Jadis, trying to attack Aslan, inadvertently eats an apple from a tree with magical properties, which repels her and makes her flee into the wilderness. Aslan then sends Digori on a quest to retrieve an apple from that same tree, which was planted to keep Jadis at bay and protect Narnia from her influence. Digori successfully retrieves the apple, resisting the temptation to eat it himself or take it back to Earth to cure his dying mother. As a reward for his obedience and for facing up to the consequences of his actions, Aslan gives Digori an apple from the tree to take home to his mother, with the promise that it will truly heal her. When Digori returns to Earth, he plants the core of the apple in his backyard after his mother is healed by the apple given to him by Aslan. The core grows into a tree, and many years later, when the tree is blown down during a storm, Digori, now an old man, uses the wood to construct a wardrobe, which becomes the portal to Narnia for Digori and other children in the subsequent Chronicles of Narnia books. Through the lens of fantasy and adventure, the magician's nephew explores themes of creation and destruction, choices and consequences, and the battle between good and evil, setting the stage for the subsequent tales within the Narnia universe. The novel explains the origins of many elements within the Narnian world, such as the lamp post, how humans came to be part of Narnia's history, and the story of the wardrobe, which is central to the lion, the witch, and the wardrobe, the first written and most famous of the Narnia books. You can listen to the full audiobook for free by following the URL in the description.